Hi there, this is Renee Hobbs and I'm talking today about the use of Twitter as a dialogic space. And thanks to Jen Posner, my media literacy friend, uh, for helping me illustrate this. Um, uh, Jen's tweet came across my radar screen. Uh, you can see it says, number one, if wondering, re my retweets of Cynthia Boas tweets, my media literacy talk at SSU today went well, lots of engagement, some normal resistance, but, well, that but captured my attention, and so I went to the website and retraced Jen's, uh, Jen's path. Uh, she writes, Two, in a later Q&A reception, a young man made various inaccurate claims about my book, saying I wrote things I didn't. Worse, he demonstrated. Three, an aggressive lack of respect, dominating discussion time, repeatedly interrupting me, the expert and guest at his school, smirking and smug. Four, clinging to and repeating some flawed logic claims ad nauseum, refusing to hear or go deeper. Oh, and kept calling me anti-men, etc. The level... Now, Lynn Camilla is responding and says to her directly, you can see she directs the, the, uh, directs the tweet directly at Jen, was there no faculty member there to moderate? Someone should have stepped in once it was clear what was happening. So sorry. And Jen continues to explain, uh, number five, of superficiality, reflective resistance to critical thinking was disheartening, for his sake, not mine, and on a personal level, I haven't, that stuff is so draining. I feel your pain, says another person, Joshua. I haven't experienced that level of smug, entitled, jerky rudeness directed to me in person offline since I debated Sean Hannity in, in 08. And number seven, that's what Cynthia Boaz, SSU prof, who witnessed the exchange, was tweeting about. Kid locked his account after she tweeted, stay classy. It wasn't the sort of round table, it wasn't that sort of round table, she says to Lydia Cornelia. Profs were there, but I think they didn't want to interrupt. I handled it, though tiring. And um, so then they have a little laugh at the end. Um, Dal she responds, yep, to Dallas. Um, then some some other person named Yick Bug says, I read that at first as saying you've dated Sean Hannity. Time to call it a night. Uh, and then uh, Jen gets a big laugh. Blah, ha, 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 ha. Thanks, Yick Bug. I really needed a laugh after this annoying experience. Uh, Jen is essentially using Twitter as a place of narrative storytelling. And that's a unique and unusual use of Twitter, but one of the reasons why I love it.